Hey guys, welcome to day 15 of Unwrapping the Gift of Jesus with Sister Red. Today we're going to talk about how God set fire to the altar. Not all kings that led God's people were great like David. Some of them were very wicked like King Ahab who worshipped Baal. Many of God's people also follow King Ahab and worship Baal too. So God called the prophet Elijah to bring them back. In 1 Kings chapter 18, verses 36 through 39, it reads as such. At the time for offering the evening sacrifice, Elijah the prophet approached the altar and said, Yahweh, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, today let it be known that you are God in Israel, and I am your servant, and that your word I have done all these things. Answer me, Lord. Answer me so that this people will know that you are, Yahweh our God, and that you have turned their hearts back. Then Yahweh's fire fell and consumed the burnt offering, the wood, the stones, and the dust, and it licked up the water that was in the trench. When all the people saw it, they fell face down and said, Yahweh, he is God. Yahweh, he is God. So I bet you're wondering why this fire is burning. Well, it's because Elijah challenged Baal's priests to a contest. They would place an offering on an altar and see whose God could set it afire. The priests of Baal called and called on their God, but nothing happened when it was Elijah's turn. He dumped water everywhere to make it even harder. He wanted to make sure that he got the people's attention and that they believed. He prayed. And immediately, God sent down flames from heaven and burnt up all the wood and everything on the altar. And boy, did that get the people's attention. They turned away from being wicked and followed God once again. Just like God sent down flames from heaven, he sent his son to come and die for our sins. Today in family discussion, talk about how Elijah got the people's attention in a big way. But also think about how God uses small ways to get our attention. So what small things did God use to get your attention? Maybe beautiful flowers, a Bible story from your mom, or a big hug from your grandma. And today in family activity, write down things that may be false gods in your life like Baal. And put them in a bin and maybe take them outside and ask mom and dad to light them on fire. Or if you have a fireplace, you can throw them in there. Or simply tear them up and throw them away. So today, as Noel comes forward with, with our ornament, which is a stone with a footprint in it that reminds us to follow God. So as she hangs this on a tree, I'm going to pray. Father God, we thank you for the many footprints that have come before us that remind us that we ought to be following you, Father God. For the many stories, Lord, that we can bring, that come to our mind that allow us to remember to follow you. Father God, for the many miracles that you do that we can see on a daily basis, but not only that, Lord, the small things that you do. Lord, we thank you for people such as Elijah, who allow us to see a clear picture of your miracles, Lord. And Lord, we thank you for all the many things that you do in our lives. So Father God, I pray that we can continue to follow you on a daily basis, Lord, that our feet will be ordered and our steps will be ordered by you, Lord. May you be a path to our feet. In your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen.